Integrity is key to promotion in life and in destiny. It is not possible for God to promote a man that does not have integrity. What separates two individuals on earth is integrity. Example, are you aware that both the eagles and the vultures are from the same family? Just like you have the Arachnida family, you have the Chilopoda family, you have all of these insect family. Both the eagle and the vultures are from the same family. Now, let me shock you. The eagles were not created by nature to be bigger than the vultures. Hmm. And the eagles, by the fault of creation, the fault was not created to be more beautiful than the vulture. You know they look alike. The only thing that has made you think that the eagle is more beautiful is actually because the vulture has been seen somehow. But they have semblance. Now, why is the eagle different from the vulture? They are feeding pattern. Why is one bigger than the other? They are feeding pattern. Vultures eat whatever has decayed, even if it is 30 days. If it comes down and it doesn't see the carcasses again, and it ends up seeing the maggots, it eats it up. The ego does not eat any animal it has not killed on its own. Anything the ego has not killed, even if it is fresh, the ego cannot eat it. But concerning the vulture, anything goes. That's why when you sleep and you see a vulture, you wake up screaming, it's a nightmare. You sleep and you see an ego, you wake up glorifying God. It's a glorious dream. From the same family, but different destinies based on their feeding patterns. What men feed on reveals where they will be. There is no glorious manifestation outside a healthy feeding pattern. So the ego feeds on fresh animals that it killed itself. It does not matter how hungry the eagle is. An eagle can go 30 days searching for an animal, searching for a meat. If it seals all the meat on earth, the ego cannot lay hold of it. But the vulture eats what has decayed. That's why you can have two ladies from the same family. And then one is short, the other is tall. Not short in terms of genetic shortness, but short in terms of destiny shortness. Their dispositions and their choices are different. You can't be a rule if you live anyhow. Those who live unguarded life will end in shame. But those who live guarded lives will end in glory and honor. Integrity is what is lacking on earth today, even amongst pastors, amongst priests. People prophesy to extort money from the pocket of a lot of people. Don't eat your harvest. You see that seed you are supposed to plant, if you eat it today, you won't have harvest tomorrow. The Bible said that the prodigal son left home and spent all that he had. What he spent was his moral character, his moral ethics. Don't see it as money. He came to a point he spent his morality. There was nothing left. He now joined himself to the citizens of that country. He came as an immigrant, as a foreigner. But after he spent all his morality, he joined himself with the citizen of that country and began to eat the food that belonged to swine. But one day he said, I will arise and go to my father. And I will tell him, I have sinned against the heaven and the earth. I'm not worthy to be called your son. Take me as one of your hired servants. Maybe you've sojourned like Lot. The Bible says, Lot, who lived close to Sodom, he didn't have a plan to live in Sodom. But anytime you begin to adopt the lifestyle of Egypt, before you know it, you will be more Egypt than the Egyptians. He lived close to Sodom. One chapter later, the Bible said, Lord, who now lived in Sodom? So there are certain things you are not paying heed to in your journey with Christ. 
you are spending your morality before now. If you do certain things, your heart will prick you. You talk bad against someone. You call the person and apologize. Now it doesn't make sense anymore. You sin and you can get excited over it. You have spent all your moral etiquette. It's time to turn to that fortress of life and deliver yourself from this obscurity of darkness of sin and impoverishment of the soul.